In this tutorial, we will discuss how to record an action like a macro and create an animation from that recorded action in Blender. Sometimes, creating an action may be easier with this macro technique than creating it through complex keyframes. It looks more natural and it is easy to do as well. Let's say we have created this gear system and the gears are connected to each other with some appropriate drivers. So if we hold and rotate this gear handle, all the gears will rotate like this in a synchronized fashion. And we want to animate them using a macro. So we have to first enable an option from here, called Auto Keyframe. We have created a separate tutorial on Auto Keyframe, where we have discussed all these options. For this tutorial, we just need to record an action, so let's start the animation. Now select the handle, and press R, to rotate the handle with your mouse. Blender will record these actions and create an animation in the back end. If we now stop this play and run it from the beginning, we'll notice that it repeats all our actions, exactly as we have just performed. So this was one very simple example of how we can create an animation by recording our actions. The animation is driven by these keyframes that are automatically added by Blender. Now let's say we have a model like this and we want it to jump and move along the y-axis, maybe in four or five steps. The center box in this model is the main body, and it is parented to all other parts. So if we grab it with G and move our mouse, the box will follow the mouse move, and all other parts will also move with the box, just like a single object. But it's very difficult to control such a movement, because we want it to move only along the y-axis. So once we grab it, we need to press Shift X to lock its movement in X. Now the object will just move along the Y and the Z axis. But it can still go down and penetrate the floor, which looks really absurd. And there are also other issues, like the wheels are now going crazy. So we will add a location constraint for the box, which is called limit location. We have to enable the minimum Z location with a value of say 2.5. So the Z location won't go below 2.5 and the object won't penetrate the floor. You may need to use a different value suitable for your case. Now, we want to record this action while we move it freely with our mouse. So we have to first enable this auto keyframe just like before. Let's increase the animation length slightly and click on this play button. Then quickly press G and then Shift X and move your mouse as you need. Blender will keep recording these movements in the background. We have to do this while the animation is playing and you can press the spacebar twice to stop the recording. Now in the timeline editor, we can see that many such keyframes are added by Blender, following our action. So if we now simply play the animation, we will see that the object is moving, just like how we moved it while recording. This is just like a macro, that we often use in a text editor or Photoshop. You can easily control and move your objects or your characters naturally on the screen. This is actually more suitable for small movements, like shaking of a hand or a tree, or a jumping action and things like that. So I hope you liked this tutorial and if you want to know more about auto keyframes, you can check our tutorial on that, the link is given below in the video description. That's all for today, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.